Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most important tools that I use around my home almost on a daily basis, and that is a flashlight. No, it's not a super cool nail gun or a saw or something like that that I'm using to build a project with, but it is a tool that I find myself using almost every single day for a variety of tasks, um, whether they are simple tasks like going out to check the chickens or the garden, or looking in the backside of a closet or underneath the workbench for a tool, um, to emergency type uses like, uh, you know, if you break down on the side of a road or you hear a bump in the middle of the night and you want to, uh, scare a two-legged predator. I just find a flashlight has so many uses and is virtually indispensable, kind of like a pocket knife or a roll of duct tape. So that's what I want to do today. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the two most common flashlights that I use and carry and then at the end I will do a little demonstration to show you what kind of light they actually provide. So here are the two lights that serve virtually all of my lighting needs. Whether I'm staying home or if I'm traveling or on a camping trip, I will always have one of these two lights on hand to help me accomplish tasks day or night. Uh, the first one I will talk about is this little pocket light and that is because I have literally carried this thing for probably about four or five years in my front left pocket as my daily use flashlight. It is a Phoenix E15 and it is a surprisingly bright light for its size. It has three, three main modes, low, medium, or high, and as you can see, it is pretty bright for its size. You just have to twist the head to cycle between each mode, and it also has an SOS mode, although I've never used that, uh, but it's just kind of cool to know that it's there. Um, additionally, this light has been unbelievably durable in the fact that I have had this go through a full washer and dryer cycle at least seven times uh, because it is so small and convenient and I just happen to leave it in my pocket so often. Uh, but it is an amazing little light. However, it is limited in the fact that it doesn't quite have the reach or throw of a, a little bit larger light and that is where this next light comes in handy. And this next light is a Phoenix TK35 Ultimate Edition and is fastly becoming my favorite light of all time. I recently got this from batteries.com with a rechargeable battery pack and every day I am just blown away that the features and brightness that this light offers in such a small package. It has five main uh, brightness levels uh, that range from as bright as 2000 lumens uh, right there, as you can see, uh, this thing is so bright, it's actually ruining the exposure on my camera. Uh, but it also toggles down to a low mode of 20 lumens that is great for uh, utility tasks like reading a map or a book or searching for some keys. And when it's on this low mode, um, it will give you approximately 160 hours of usable light. And when you translate that into uh, real world hours of how many hours somebody might use a light at night, um, if you're using a light for say two or three hours each night while camping, you could use this thing for well over two months and still have usable light. So it's pretty amazing. I'll, I'll cycle through the rest of the uh, modes. So again, this is the eco mode or the lowest mode and it goes all the way up to the turbo mode. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see that just totally ruins the exposure on my camera and uh, is kind of hard to see. So I'll take this outside in a few hours when it gets dark and show you the rest of the capabilities. Uh, but it does offer another couple of functions, just like the other light, it also offers an SOS function. Uh, and you know, I hope to God I'll never have to use that. Uh, but the other really cool function is a strobe function. So if you hold down the uh, function button, it can be used as a tactical strobe to disorient an animal or a person. Um, it's really just pretty darn amazing. So let me take this out and show you what it actually does uh, in some real nighttime scenarios. And uh, hopefully maybe this will give you an idea of, you know, a light that might be helpful for your own homestead. To give you some perspective of just how effective both of these lights are, let me show you a few things around the property that you might already be familiar with, with both the little pocket light as well as the TK35. Here's the sunken greenhouse with the E15 
and now at the various modes of the TK35. And the same thing with the chicken coop. And now we'll look at the throw that the TK35 provides at my house at a few different distances. And here was another distance shot that my wife and I did when I was about three-eighths of a mile away on a hilltop behind our property. Um, we also did this at about two miles away, but unfortunately the camera couldn't pick up the light. Uh, in person it was very easy to see at both distances, but this was the only one that actually picked up on film. And here's a little comparison I did with the TK35 to the high beams on my car. As you'll see here in a second, it actually makes a pretty darn good replacement. There's the TK35, and then I'll turn this off and put the high beams back on. And here's what a head-on perspective of these lights looks like. If you're wondering why I was doing this during the day, uh, my first test at night actually blew the exposure up and it was just blurry for the entire test. Uh, just really a testament to how bright these things actually are. And here are some of the little critters I ended up spotting when I was out doing these nighttime tests. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful in showing you just how important of a tool a light can be. Uh, please keep in mind, these two lights I showed you in this video just happen to be lights that work well for my needs, and ultimately just having a light versus no light at all is a good thing. Uh, but if you do happen to be in the market for a new light, as I was recently, I can't recommend this TK35 Ultimate Edition enough. It is pretty much a do everything light, and if the zombie apocalypse actually existed, this would be the one light I would probably take with me. Um, I did find it at batteries.com, and that was the cheapest price I found on the web. I'll put a link down below. Um, and then, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.